you know, I've been trying to see, and then my husband's so cute because he said he doesn't believe in angels, but he says, but I want to see one. <laughs> He's more like, if I see it, I'll believe it. Uh, so why do you think some people can, and do you think everyone could if we would work on it? Absolutely. I'm absolutely positive. Everybody can see angels. Okay. It's just a matter of, of, do you want to see them with all your heart? You put a lot of intention, but sometimes it happens, you don't ask for it. Mm -hmm. So I'm not in their skin, so I cannot say exactly what uh, they choose to do and uh, whoever they want to appear to. But just be open-minded. I would say to our listeners, be open-minded. Mm -hmm. Just uh, welcome angels in your life. Mm -hmm. And you have more possibilities to see an angel because you connect to their vibration and their energy. So the closest you are to them, the more you can really uh, see an angel. But the, the angel is also a being of um, love, energy, and power. So he's many things at the same time. And if you want to connect to an angel and connect to his vibration, try to feel yourself as an angel. I'm powerful. I have so much love in my heart and I want to give love. And I am light. I am a bright being. I want to be close to the angels. And telling this to yourself, you create this wonderful vibration, superior and higher vibration, that makes you get closer to them. And do you find it's true that we have to ask for help? Because they're there, they're our guardian angels, but we have free will, so will they help us or only if we ask? Not only if we ask, but for specific purposes, it's better if we ask. For instance, um, if there is a terrible car crash, they will intervene as much as they can. Mm -hmm. But if you want something specific like finding love, you know what I'm talking about, yes. <laughs> <laughs> or um, finding a new job, or um, uh, I don't know, anything in life, you want to change house, move out, move in uh, somewhere else, in another area, uh, travel, whatever you want to do, you have a special goal in your life, Ask the angels, because they will exactly answer your request. Mm. And the more specific the request is, the more they will get exactly what you want. And I always give this... Oh, sorry. Oh, no, no, I, that's, go, <laughs> ahead. go ahead. It, when you enter a restaurant, you sit at a table and you ask the waitress, um, I would like to eat something. The, the cook is not going necessarily to bring you what you expected. Right. So just look at the menu and choose exactly the dish or the, the, what you want to eat. And with the angels, it's the same. If you want to have a better result and get whatever you need, be very specific. And when you try to um, make a ritual, you, you set up the, the altar or you, you perform the ritual, you need to be very specific and have a very strong intention because everything is in your heart. If you do things like you know, just when you set up the table. It's not exactly what the angels expect. They want you to be really determined and to really want something. They will not bring you what you don't want because it's dangerous to bring somebody, a person, uh, something that they don't want. For instance, if you say to the angel, I want to move out, and in the end you, you, you love your house and you don't want to move out, and if they find you a solution to move out and you're stuck, you cannot go backwards. You yeah. cannot return to your house. This is not right. So this is why I would like insist on this thing. Be very specific and determined and use your power of intention when you want to connect to the angels. Hey.